welcome to the Liverpool versus Crystal Palace match preview. Uh, both the sides suffered an awful start to the season there. Both of them shipping three goals on the opening day of the Premier League. Uh, Liverpool, of course, as we now hold to a 3-3 draw away at Watford. Uh, Self-destructed self completely there and uh, conceding that 94th minute goal from the corner. Yes, I, I know it was offside in my head, but hey, it, it counts, so we can't think much about it. So, bad, bad result for us, but even worse for Crystal Palace, playing at home at Salias Park, get beat by the Premier League new boys, Huddersfield, and not just beat, they were decimated by him 3 0 by Huddersfield, man. It's not good for the uh, new manager, Frank De Boer, and does that mean he's going to have to, you know, radically rethink his tactical? You know, sort of plans for Palace. Could be, could well be. Uh, but I feel we'll be buzzing this Saturday, guys. First home game of the season. Always an electric atmosphere at that, at that game. Definitely is. Most games are, but especially the opening game at home. Uh, Palace, though, will arrive with a bit of confidence. Even though they got, they got took apart by Huddersfield. Uh, they have, have got a hell of a good record coming to Anfield there. Uh, it's not good. Uh, they've won the last three games against us at Anfield, so it doesn't bode well in that respect. But with the result they had the last weekend, I don't think they'll really, really be that confident, even though the recent record says they should be. Uh, in particular, though, the, the new defensive signing didn't impress. Uh, Jario Reinveld, I hope I get that name right, I think I do. It, he, he really struggled on his debut, really did. And uh, right wing back, Joel Ward, just looked out of his depth, to be perfectly honest. And if he's playing right wing back up against uh, Mane at the weekend, oh man, it's, Mane will, will actually turn him a new one, guys. He really, really will. Uh, De Boer, though, ha as I said, has been widely quoted uh, over the summer saying he wants them to play a controlled passing style. Is that really suited to Palace, the players they got there? I don't think it is, to be honest. Uh, Sam Allardyce didn't play that way. The managers before him didn't. That team was not set up to be a passing, controlled side. Um, yeah, they were more of a long ball, but maybe he could take it, get them to be more of a counter-attacking side, just to get points on the board and then gradually integrate new players and get that new style that he wants. Uh, it, it's a way he could go. I could see him actually doing the counter-attack against us on Saturday, you know, sitting back trying to hit us. Because a lot of teams have done that in the recent past against us and it seemed to work. Which is, does not bode well for us if they do do it. I hope they do what they did against Huddersfield because then it would be easy peasy for us. But I highly doubt the ball will let that happen. Uh, of course, we have obvious defensive problems, guys. Uh, <laughs> we've been riddled with them, especially... Especially the start of the season, conceding three against uh, Watford. Um, we conceded one against Hoffenheim midweek. Could have been a couple more to be perfectly truthful. Uh, but, you know, defensively, been, been a bit poor, to say the very least. Uh, but going the other way, <laughs> man, we were shaky at the back with a complete opposite going forward. We're absolutely electric, even without Coutinho, who we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, Mo Salah just seems to have, uh, you know, Stepped into playing for Liverpool like he's been there for years, to be perfectly honest. he's It's just been seamless. Uh, Mane and Firmino as well, absolutely, you know, producing what they did last season. Especially Mane. Firmino a bit, bit down on uh, Tuesday night, but last weekend he was pretty impressive. Uh, but the front three looking really good. And also Don Solanke, when he came on in midweek, you know, he looked a decent player as well. Uh, as I said, during pre-season, he looked really impressive. He, he's going to be a really good buy for us, I think, uh, in the long term. And uh, I think he'll get quite a few uh, games like games under his belt with us this season, especially in the League Cup. And uh, maybe some of the lesser uh, Premier League games coming off the bench, etc. Uh, so, for, going forward, we're looking good defensively. Work to be done, definitely. Uh, as I said there about Phil Coutinho, it's just come out recently, about an hour ago, as I'm recording this. Uh, we've actually rejected uh, another offer from Barca. I think that's their third offer they've done for us. Uh, BBC is saying it was 114 million, Sky Sports saying 118 million, whatever it is. We've gone, hell no, Barca, hell no. Come on, Coutinho's under a five year contract. He only signed it in January. Come on, Barca, leave it alone. Go, out, go over and get that uh, 
that Dembele from Dortmund, go on, off you go lads, off you go, we're not selling him, even if he's not not wanting to play for us, we're not selling him, we're not, he's got a five year contract, he'll come round guys, he'll come round, but uh, without, without him there, uh, he is injured, <laughs> I, I, I do that because I, I've got a bit of a doubt that he is actually injured guys, I, I think it's more because of the, uh, you know, the speculations around them and I think he's sort of being pushed to one side by Klopp saying, look, until until your head's right, you're not going to be playing. But of course, he's not going to come out and say that in the press. Uh, but the other injuries, we do have Lalana still out. He's a long-term absentee, unfortunately. We, we do miss him, but hey, we are getting on with it, thankfully, at the moment. Uh, Nathaniel Klein as well is probably unlikely to play. Uh, but I doubt he would have got back in the side either with Trent uh, Alexander-Arnold playing pretty well on Tuesday night getting a beautiful goal as well his first goal for the club of course as well beautiful free kick who knew he had that in his locker but I, I think Trent would probably be ahead of Klein at the moment just because Klein's coming back and Trent is in pretty good form at the moment uh, also Sturridge should be back in the squad uh, after his injury layoff it seems like we're always saying that but yeah he's back in the squad uh, doubt he'll start it's going to be Firmino up front I reckon uh, Sturridge will be a, a great addition to come off the bench anyone would love that sort of uh, player to come off the bench uh, moving on to Crystal Palace uh, unfortunately for them they're going to be without their well arguably their best player in Wilfred Zaha uh, he's out for a month got a knee injury picked up picked it up against Huddersfield last weekend he uh, did continue the game but ended up with a uh, knee brace uh, after the game and looks like he's going to be out for about a month unfortunately for him that means uh, Andros Townsend could be coming back into the starting lineup uh, for Palace uh, good player uh, quick and pretty direct so good replacement for Saha uh, or De Boer could actually go for the youngster uh, Lokilo 19 uh, year old he impressed uh, for Palace in pre-season so it could be time for him to get his chance, you never know guys. Uh, also, Johan Kabai uh, has uh, played in midweek for the uh, under-23 side for Palace. So he's pushing for the recall. I doubt he'll get in the start on 11, but possibly a place on the uh, bench for him. Uh, of course, Christian Benteke will be leading their attack. Former Liverpool player, of course, and of course came back and haunted us last season. Uh, so hopefully we can keep him quiet this time. Uh, Timothy Fosu Mensa and uh, Ruben Loftus Creek as well will be playing their second game for Palace. Did all right, but it was more of a team effort that let them down last week than individual errors. So uh, you never know, guys. I highly doubt Palace will uh, be a good side, to, you know, against us. I don't think they're going to go with that passing style that De Boer wants to play. Uh, I, as I said, I think he's going to go with that. Uh, with that counter-attacking style, try and hit us on the break like a lot of teams do when they come to Anfield, which is really going to frustrate us, but hopefully we can find a way through them, you know, get a goal or two, and please, please, no conceding from corners, and try and keep a clean sheet, guys, please. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this preview, guys. If you have, smash that like button for us, and uh, let us know what you think, guys. What result do you think it's going to be? I'm going with a 2-1 win to Liverpool. If you think that's right, let us know down below or let me know what you think. Anyway, thanks for watching, as I said, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.